Uh, this is Chris from OrthoWell PT. I'm going to talk about some strategies that are in our best three strategies for low back pain. First off, proper lifting technique. So in the clinic, we like to use a stick for training purposes. So um, let's do without the stick here first. So we're going on to, to squat. Essentially, I, I, may, I may mention on the, on the brochure the key points on how to lift properly. So you're going to bend, feet should be at least shoulder width apart. When you go to squat down, butt should go out as much as you possibly can. Your knees never go past your toes, and your feet always stay as flat as possible. Okay? And emphasize this as a training tool. Grab a stick, a broomstick, a, a dowel, a bat, a, a golf club. Okay? Um, head against the stick, against your low back, feet flat on the floor, get your bum out as much as you possibly can. And you can see, I'm going to get to a point where I'm almost parallel to the floor here. Okay? Feet on knees don't go past the toes, and feet are flat and stable. Okay? Um, if you have to go down to pick something up, and you can't do that, you can't assume that position, go down to one knee, stick your bum out, and grab something this way. Okay? Um, if you've got to reach into like a, you know, a trunk of a car or over something, you can always place your hand on you know, the, the trunk of the car, whatever might be in front of you, and reach forward, okay? When I extend my leg, it actually um, stimulates the muscles in my back to contract and to stabilize my lumbar spine, okay? Um, so that's lifting. I'm going to sit over here, Matt. We'll do a uh, um, proper um, sitting posture. Um, when you're sitting, first you want to be in a straight back chair as much as you can. You want to avoid slouching as much as you possibly can, so sitting on a on a, on a sofa chair, sitting on a recliner with your legs out, put a lot of stress in your low back. Once your legs go out, it can put a stress on the sciatic nerve in the back of your leg. So driving can be really, really difficult when it comes to low back pain. Um, in order to, you know, uh, support the low back, you can, you know, scoot your bum back as far as you can into the, into the chair, and then lean forward and place a towel roll or a little pillow at the small of your back, it'll help to reinforce that normal inward curve at your low back. We call that the lordosis. Okay? So feet flat on the floor and support it. Let me have Matt pan in on this ergonomics sheet right here. Okay, so when it comes down to a proper sitting mechanics, the same idea applies. Ear, shoulder, and hips straight up and down. Always support at the lumbar spine against the back of a chair. You can actually get a pillow that actually attaches to the chair if you need, if you want to, you know, go that route. Um, feet flat, um, elbows supported, wrists supported, eyes at the top of the screen. Okay. Um, by supporting here and supporting there, you take the pressure off the neck area. By supporting there, you take the pressure off the back. By having your feet flat, you're keeping the whole system stable all the way through. So as much as you can in this position, not just at work, but also at home, watching a movie, watching TV, whatever. Especially when you're really trying to calm things down. This should be every single time that you sit, you should be protected and stable. Okay? Um, when it comes down to getting into uh, your bed, um, uh, something else too, as a matter of fact, even as far as uh, me moving that chair right there. This idea of when you bend forward, if you combine forward bending and twisting, you're putting yourself at risk for injuring your back, okay? So when you're going down to pick something up, you're nice and stable this way, and then if you turn and twist, now you've lost. There's that potential to irritate the disc, or irritate the nerve once again, okay? So bend down, you move your feet, and set it down, and then something adjacent to you, or whatever it is that you're, that you're moving, okay? Just to be on the safe side. All right, and then when it comes down to getting into, into bed, you sit, do this in two steps. Sit and lay into your side first. Legs come up at the same time. When you go to roll, you roll like a log. You roll onto your back. Um, shoulders, hips, and knees roll at the same time. Coming up, it's exactly the opposite. So you roll into your side. Okay. And then bring your legs over. Push up with your elbow and sit. Okay. Um, if things are really bad, then you've got to really protect your spine. We have these back braces here at OrthoWell PT. Um, it's nice because they're more narrow. Uh, can fit underneath your shirt so things don't dig in when you go to sit down. It's actually a little bit too small for me. But um, what's nice is it's got, it's got a cinch strap in the front here. And then you have these other two straps that pull across and over this way. Actually, this one would come over here first. Okay. 
come over to this side, and then this one would pull over this way. Of course, this is for pretty. You know, somebody's got a very, very small waist. Uh, but the more you can protect going forward, the better off things are in the long run. Okay. Um, some people I have actually wear these at night because they just can't get comfortable sleeping. So you want to wear it at night? Another great strategy. Okay. But as much as you can during the day, working, playing with your kids, um, going to um, uh, housework around the house, put it on, keep it on, stay as stable as you possibly can to take the pressure off the disc. Um, I think that is pretty good. So proper sitting, lifting, um, uh, rolling in bed, uh, brace as needed. And uh, we also talked about some pain management strategies that are on there being um, icing or heat um, as you can t as, as tolerated. Um, whatever works better for you is fine. So with that said, we'll start with that. Thank you.